Hey everyone, it's the Arch Panda, and we are back on Better Minecraft. And I've done a little bit more digging. Got myself an Ultimate Shield. Got myself an Ultimate Crossbow as well. Just upgraded mine to Netherite and an Ultimate. Should have done that a while ago, but. Yeah, I just completely forgot. Um, yeah. Uh, I do want to get you into here. I think. Where is my other big axe? I think it's in uh, here. There you are. Right, you. think are going to get enchanted with, where is it, that one. So I'll lose mending and breaking but I'll get vein mining and efficiency 4. How much to take these off? 42. That's, 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 that's a lot. <laughs> I mean that can have fortune can't it? So I'll get fortune. Take fortune off that, that's no problem. And it's already got oh no, the other one's got sharpness, hasn't it? So what's the other one got? Sharpness and efficiency. Do you know I'll just stick vein mining on that one I think. So you can go in there. So we'll put fortune on it, and then we need to put vein mining on it. Now I have got uh, vein mining left, I think. be in the place where it's not supposed to be. Right. Stick vein mining on you. Um, take out a book. We'll strip fortune three off you and slap it onto you instead. Nine levels. Do and do. There we go. So, I've got my crossbow, I've got an axe, I've got my experience book, so these can go back in there, I'm not going to need you, I've got my arrows, I'm going to need a shovel, I'll take you out, and I'm going to take out a couple of idols just in case, and I need to make sure I've got plenty of food on me. Grab this. And I'm out of carrots. Uh, that farm there making potatoes should really be making carrots. Um, do you know what? These are a bit more expensive, but needs must and all that. How many of these can I make? Quite a few. And I'm out of gold. That's fine. Gold's easy enough to get. Right. Now what we're going to do is go to the Twilight Forest. So, I, first of all, to get there, you need to build a 2x2 two pool of water like this and surround it with flowers. Once you've done that you need to get yourself a I can't remember if it's a diamond or a diamond block. What you do is you turn the magnet off first. You throw that in. It's not a diamond. Is it a diamond block? Uh, 
Uh, it's not that either. Hmm. Unless it's changed for this and I've completely forgot. Back in the mobile, I'll double check. Okay, it worked. <laughs> what I did, I just replaced it, the flowers that are around it, and it worked. It didn't like some of the flowers I was using, but sentiment's the same. Surround it in flowers, throw a diamond into the pool of water, and boom, Twilight Forest Paul. So, just to let you know in preparation, on my backpack I have got one more upgrade, the deposit upgrade. So what I've done, I've told it to deposit fireworks, torches and arrows. So when I run out in my inventory, it will automatically pull from here. So if I just tip my arrows down. So this is my last arrow I'm shooting. And it's not worked. Okay, that should work. But for some reason it doesn't. Uh... Okay, that's how it's supposed to work, but it's not. So I don't know why, but it's not doing that. Oh well, we've got his normal backpack, uh, which actually, when I think on, I do have a piece of another right left. So before we head into the forest, Let's get this done. There we go. That gives us a bit more space for loot. Right, no further ado. Into the twilight forest we go. Well, So it's spawned right on the edge of the Arctic biome. So I am going to pop myself a waste on here. And there we go. So Twilight Forest filled with powerful creatures and defeat them in order to progress. For more information, head to the Twilight Wiki. Yeah. Uh, let's get you back here. Right. Let's see what we need to do first. Right. First thing I could do with is a map. And although we've got this map, there is a magic map. Which lets you know where the uh, the bosses are that you need to fight. For that, I need some paper and I need a raven feather. First things first though, we've got things to kill. Oh, hello. Uh, do you know what? I took everything out and forgot to take out a pickaxe. Get rid of you. So that's a normal map. Keep the milk bucket, actually. Right. 
so we need to find two things. We need to find a raven. Or a, is it a raven or is it a crow? I can't remember now. Two crocs fight over who gets to die first. Uh, right. There are some things I do recognise. Like this hill actually has a dungeon underneath it. It's got like a goblin uh, dungeon underneath and it is chock full of things. It's got a lot of raw you can mine, but it's absolutely chock full of monsters. Um, there's another biome. You can see like a weird biome generation there. Um, what was I going to do? Oh, I was about to check something. And I forgot what I was about to check. Oh, yeah. There is a Twilight Forest book. Uh, the Journal, I think it's called. Uh, which, it's not perfect at the minute. It's still been worked on. Uh, Twilight Forest as a whole still been worked on. There's at least one more dungeon left to, to build. Maze maps are... Mazes are annoying as well. Oh, I'll end up coming to one of those soon enough. Yeah. Thought I had one. I might actually have one, but it's in the uh, base book collection. Let me just go and double check. I'm going to grab some. Head back to base. I'm going to grab some paper as well for when we. Uh, Do a silly thing with this again. Work, dang it. There we go. Right, back in a mill. Okay, this is annoying. <laughs> it's put me out, it's put me out there rather than there. That's the portals for me on this game seem to be just out to troll me. Right. Grab some paper, we'll throw you in there. You and you. Keep the milk out. Throw you in there. So, animal dictionary. There we go. Travel slog. Right. So, drop a diamond into the water. There you go. See the purple spots. Right. Magic map. Things and stuff. See, so, yes. Yeah, I mean, by it's not quite finished yet. We've got landmarks, the hollow hills, which is what we found. I suppose I'm dead, yeah. A lot of this is still work in progress, but. It's fine for us. Oh, yeah. As soon as it's not filling, let me just get some arrows out. Ready. Right. Try this again and let's see if we can find our first boss fight which is the Naga. So let us go. This is one of the dungeons. This is the leech tower. So there's a leech at the top and you can tell you're not supposed to go here yet because you get this weird yellow shield thing and none of the blocks breakable. So if you go somewhere interesting and you see that yellow sparkles remember the location because you're going to have to come back here whoa 
So I missed that. I found another one. You'll often find these are grouped around another one. So like these are sub bosses to a larger one. Um, you do find that in a few places, like the Snow Queen in the ice biome. You've got to fight some of the Yetis first to get the stuff you need to you know to go meet the Snow Queen, so you can actually fight her. So yeah, although it's good to explore, you do need to yeah. You, you can't just go diving straight into the hard stuff. You've got to work your way there. Okay. Although, nothing's worrying me yet. Oh, although, lucky drop. This big old maze here is where the Naga lives. Love some of these blocks. These make great decoration blocks. So here we go. This will be the first boss. And this thing is mildly annoying. So there you are. It's a big old snake. As you hit it, it gets shorter. A little harder to hit sometimes. Oh. Okay. I thought he charged at you. Sorry, I stretched. Oh dear. Come on, you. Oh. Oh, excellent. I didn't know you could do that. That is brilliant. So when it charges at you, block it, and you can stun it. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. That is a nagger. That's the nagger done. That went much smoother than I thought it was going to do. Uh, and we do get ourselves a couple of new toys. We get a nagger trophy, and we get some nagger scales. The scales can be used to make leggings and armour. Which, 7 and 5? 8 and 3? That's actually pretty good. I'm not going to lie, that's actually pretty good. We've got our first trophy. Right. We are going to need those trophies soon enough as well. Make sure you keep those safe, but I am. Pinch a couple of blocks, actually. Some of these will make some fine decorations. Uh, there we go. That is fight number one. So, we get a miniature courtyard which hasn't been implemented properly yet. Well, that'll bring us trophy room. The next is to kill the Twilight Lich. So, those weird tower things that we mentioned. One to the south. Ooh, 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 ooh. I love the sheep. <laughs> uh, but. Ah, oh, these aren't even the right things. These are pigeons. Not pigeons, parrots, cockatoos. Right. I do need to get my shears. Which. I have got a pair of shears in here, haven't I? Do not. That's an iron. I need a pair of shears. Oh well. The reason I'm doing this. There is a rare animal you can find called the questing lamb. Which is over here. To fulfill the questing lamb's request, you need to give it one of every type of wool. One of each colour. So, yeah, I'm going to be taking out any sheep that I find, just so I can try and get that. Um, I love these fireflies in jars as well. Right, 
back to where I was saying, the leech tower that we saw earlier that had that weird yellow shield all around it. Well, now because we've killed the Naga, the yellow shield's gone. Which means we can now go into the leech tower. Now, there's two ways to do it. There's the way that the game intends, which is go in, fight your way up the towers and find the leeches. Um, room or there's my way which is get this thing working again use the power of flight <laughs> to find the room which I'm guessing is this one because it's the biggest room this is the one get ready for a fight this fight is tough Oh, let's go. So, this thing will spit fireballs at you. What you've got to do is bat them back. Which is far easier said than done. Take some of these paintings. Shields down, you start getting in and smacking him. Gotcha! Ah! Oh. Do you know what? That were a lot easier than I expected it to be as well. Dealing paintings. <laughs> oh! That is the Lich. Best of all, we didn't have to climb up this silly tower to get to it. Stop working. There we go. I mean, this tree looks a little sus. The crickets are on it, look cool. Right, we've got two fights down. Two fights down means we are on to fight number three, which is the Minor Shroom. Well, this is the point I could really do with finding one of those birds and getting a black feather. Because uh, I cannot remember what the... Uh, it looks like. Oh, budgies. Go away. Ostriches. I mean, it's like bird galore. Just not the bird that I'm after. That's the one I'm after. Forest ravens. All of that, and I still forgot to fetch some the crafting bench for me. Right, so, quick crafting bench. And a bunch of that pack. Let's just throw these in. A zombie scepter. 
Ooh, looks like some real zombies. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, let me get the feathers out. So, put a raven feather in the middle, wrap it in paper. Oh no, you need to do this first, don't you? need to make it into a magic map focus. So we need torch base, which we've got, and glowstone. So we have got torch base, because we've got them here. Uh, glowstone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, that bird is cute as anything. But I don't have any glowstone here. Kookaburra zombie. Oh, she's got a puffer fish. Okay. This might be a trip back to the uh, adventure backpack. Put them in a jar, and that's about it. Uh, yeah, this is a quick trip back to the portal to get some glowstone. So, back in a more. Right, so, as I was saying, Raven Feather, glowstone, and a torch belly gives us the map focus. Which, when wrapped in paper, gives us a blank magic map. Um, then what we do is we put you away. And put you back. Come back here. Oh, did not mean to do that. There we go. And take our map focus. Right click. And there we are. So this starts here. So we need to go here and make a new map to see what's in there. That is a biome where we've got some nasties we're going to have to deal with a bit later on. But this way. So as you can see on the map um, let's go up here and let's put the map in the off hand you see the little white mounds that's these these are yeti dens and up here we've got a fort, uh, ice castle but we can't fight yetis yet and we can't do ice castles yet this is another one of those mounds full of goblins and resources this what is this little mound? Oh, this is like a little, um, a little version of the mound. So in there is a lot of mobs as well. Um, what other things? It looks like there's another Nagamiz over here. Is it? No, this is just a regular head, hedge maze. So there are different things that appear on the map. So this... Right, so don't climb the hedges because it hurts you. <laughs> and you get hedge spiders. This is another little distraction. Uh, not what we're after though. Um, let's just get some more rockets out. So, there's some more snowiness here. There's another couple of lich towers here. Uh, 
let's get above the trees so I'm not headbutting everything. Uh, another leech tower. That is another Naga. An illegit. Hang on. There is an illegit fort in the Twilight Forest. Really? Oh, jeez Louise. Right. Not taking everything, but... Oh. Where were these when we needed them? This is just there's several floors of goodies. I'm liking these. I was I haven't run into any illagers yet, but I can hear them. And they'll not be happy that I've come up and stolen all the diamonds, all the emeralds, and all of their golden fruits and enchanted golden fruits at that. Oh, I can see one. Well, Mr. General, uh, you've just been put out of a job. I mean, to be fair, you weren't exactly what we'll call a scary general, anyway. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, this place is awesome. I mean, I've already filled up on emeralds. Okay. Um, with arches all over these walls. Training room. <laughs> All of these have got. Oh wow! I'm going to have to cook. I'm going to have to like empty my backpack at some point and come here and just. I mean, look at it. It's huge. We've got the Naga there, right on the edge. So if I go there and summon that, that's probably going to destroy half the place. In fact, it's spawned into where the Naga spawns, so it's broken the Naga. Oh, wow. That place is absurd. Brilliant, but absurd. Yeah, definitely gonna have to come there and just raid it all. I mean, let's throw all you in here. 20 enchanted golden apples. <laughs> 20. Oh, wow. Yeah. Definitely going to have to uh, empty that place of all its worldly goods. Um, although, in the search for. Right. In a search for nether uh, twilight bosses, but not finding many more. Find another mound. A couple more mounds, actually. 
Uh, I have found something over here. But I think... Oh yeah, this is it. <laughs> now the map is utterly useless but this is where we need to be this is the home of the well minishroom but it's the minotaur oh the mini maps kicked in oh that is good um looks like it might be just in here, no, it's not in here. I mean, there are some really cool bricks in this as well, but yeah. Hello. Oh, this place. Oh, TNT, yeah. Oh, some fireflies, the charms, yeah. Get rid of the mine toss spawner. Steel leaf. Map focuses. So that, you use that to create a map. A maze map. Which, had I not got you know, a, a mini map here, I would use to map this place. Oh, that is a cool banner. I'm going to keep the slimes. Right. Uh, right. Put some of those arrows away. There we go. Right. A bit more reasonably set up now yeah I mean you can just take one look at the minimap and you can see this it truly is labyrinthian uh, but with the aid of the minimap I might be able to head straight to the minish room so I think that's it to the bottom uh, nope not this way this way. I can't remember, is this dungeon two floors or is it just the one? Well, the room that I thought it might have been in, it wasn't. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Steel leaf. Keep the arrows. Okay, this may take a moment. Um, so I really can't remember that room to my north now looks a bit sus. Looks like you can get to it this way. Okay. Okay, it's not this one. Yeah, I think. <coughs> excuse me. I think there might be another floor to this. Uh, which. Let me just see if I can break this yet. Nope. Let me 
because I haven't completed the maze, I can't break it. Uh, dang. Right, there's one more room there that looks a little sus. Let's see what we got over there. Whoa, hello. So, I'm out of torches. Those big old beetles. Yeah. That's the little blight of them. Ooh. Do I like that room? Ah, yeah, it does. It goes across two floors. So we'll rob this chest and let's go down once more right let's try this way I have these annoying slinging things. Right. Oh, that room looks interesting. the round side of the minimap now. <sighs> Dang it. Um, looks like it's to the north and over. Yeah, even with the minimap, this place is still takes some navigation. <laughs> So I'll never count this place out. Iron wood, TNT. We'll take another milk bucket. Iron wood sword, steel leaf chest plate, steel leaf boots. Another map focus. Right, might take some of these actually. Right, that room has no perceivable entrance. <laughs> That's why it's got a wall on it. This is the room. Miniature room. I mean, you gotta admit, it does look kind of cool. Although it's down. Right, so we need one of you. You. Uh, I'll take that, take that, I'll take that, take them. Uh, they can go in there. We don't need any of them. Although we do like the TNT, steely pickaxe. Oh, what iron wood? There we go. And gunpowder, yes. TNT, yes. Perfect, yes. So, let's chuck some stuff away. Golden Minotaur Axe. Keep one of them. And that's what we've got. Well, we've got the Minishroom Trophy. To go with our other two. Uh, we've got... Throw stuff in here. The 
Diamond Minotaur Axe. Extra damage while charging. Hmm. We've got the Minotaur Trophy. So that is... Another one down. Blazing Gold Inga. Ooh, I'm going to come back to you in a minute. The next one will be the Hydra. Which we'll save for next episode. So... For now, if you like the episode, hit the like button. If you really like the episode and want to catch some more, then hit subscribe so you can check out more videos as well as the rest of the playlists. You can also hit the green bell, the green bell, the little bell, uh, so that it notifies you whenever I am live streaming or whenever new episodes go up as well. Also, if you've seen something that you like, or if you want me to check out something else in the pack, then pop it in the comments, let me know. I always try to answer the back as soon as I can. So, come have a chat. And, as always, you guys take it steady. Everything's a good one. I'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.